I got some bad news. <laughs> One of our bowls cracked. I don't know which bowl it is. They told you that? Yep. I really hope it's yours. <laughs> I didn't tell you all day. It's been a hard secret to carry. Yeah, I guarantee it's mine because when I was making it, it kind of got like really like thin on the bottom. Honestly, it could be either one of us because mine was kind of thick. Fingers, it's not mine. Is it like a big crack? Like it's noticeable? I don't know. We'll see. Honestly, I have no idea who's is it. I've been really excited to get my pole, so I hope it's not cracked. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Hi, Brittany. Hi, Brittany. Brianna. Brianna? Brianna. Nice to meet you. Um, we have your pots. I hope you're scratched. Oh, my cracked. It's still really. You know, Brittany. Let me see it. I don't expect or appreciate your laughter. I got it. I'm sorry. Anything else from me? That was it. That was right, it. Good. That was easy. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. And tell Jesse you're that welcome. we appreciate everything. Absolutely. And hope you like the vlog. I will. Thank you. Bye bye. I'm really sad about that my bowl has a crack. Because I was hoping it would be Brittany's, but. Let's just say I won't be Mine doesn't cereal. doesn't have a crack. I like your color though. I really Mine's like way it. earth like, tony. It's kind of like sparkly almost. The like how I painted it turned out really cool. Like it did what I wanted it to do. Oh, good for you. Here it is. People, I got an email asking about our bowls, where they were. Uh, so that was our bowl process. And I almost, I honestly forgot that we shot that. I honestly forgot, so thanks for the email because we've had them in the studio now for a week or two. I cannot wait to take another class. That needs to happen soon. Like soon. Maybe glass blowing. I really want to do glass blowing. So thank you so much. These are our bowls and it just chills here and holds headphones. Look at this. What's that say? What? Are you kidding me? 1,400 subscribers. 1,437 to be exact at this moment. What? I promised him to do something special for 1,000. I haven't had any suggestions for anything specific. So we will. Thank you so much. Huge deal. We really appreciate it. But just because I'm fighting um, pneumonia right now. I have pneumonia. Yeah, so like I'm pretty sick. Secondly, speaking to that, because I have pneumonia, things have been pushed back a bit. Uh, this week I've been back at work, but was not well enough to go shoot the vlog for next week. Vlog 18 is going to be a police ride along with the K-9 unit. We've had a few suggestions for that, and we're super excited for it. So right now, posting might be a little bit more sporadic until I get over this and we get back on official shooting schedule. Uh, just what we will post may vary on how well I am and what we get shot. but. That is scheduled for the future, so K9 Ride Along Vlog, I'm super excited for it. It's gonna be awesome. Thanks for that suggestion. We're really looking forward to it. Are you excited, Rihanna? For what? This week's vlog, Vlog 17, Transportation Ride Along. It's monsoon season right now in Arizona, which is a big deal sometimes with flooding, street issues, maintenance, accidents. So we decided to go along with the Transportation Department and do a ride along, if you will. Vlog 16. 15, 17. Oh, 17. <laughs> here we are. Just kidding. It's early. We are here at the East Mesa Service Center. Someone's nodding yes that I got that correctly. Thanks, Amy. Uh, and this is where we're going to start our day to day. We're riding along with the transportation department. It's monsoon season. It's kind of cloudy out right now. Um, so they handle a lot of storm situations. So we're going to fill up some sandbags. See the storm operations center? Yeah, and we're gonna work with some pumps. <laughs> we're gonna like go to a training and training and so yeah. we're gonna do a whole bunch of stuff today with the transportation department. It's gonna be awesome. Let's get to it. This is Brian. Brian. So what did you just pull up? Okay, so every morning there's a storm. And the night before we come in here, we fire all this stuff up. We pull up the rain gauges at the city of Mesa. So that area got the most amount of rain. No. How do you get the water off the streets? So there's those storm grates that are on all the major streets, right? So how do those work and how does the water get so from the street? So it goes the into the storm grate, goes into a big pipe, and the pipe... How big are these pipes? Depends on the neighborhood. Like, are they little ones or are they big ones? 
This is Amy. Amy hung out with us. Amy's the PIO for transportation. Amy's amazing. Amy, you should just vlog because you're really good at it. No, you can have 72 inch pipes. Uh, That's like five feet. That's like me. Yeah. Okay, so they're pretty and they're big. And they're concrete. Okay. And they just run underground and they go through neighborhoods or down major streets. vacuuming our streets every day. I hope their wives don't make them go home and vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> we supply sand, the sand bins at our east yard and our west yard, and then also at five fire stations throughout the valley. One of the first things we did was fill sandbags. Never done it before, totally a pro. So, drop this open and you can get a sandbag. Okay, it's BYOS also, so bring your own shovel. <laughs> and you can get your shovel from the tool ending program for free. Right? <laughs> yes! Oh. Okay, high five, Rihanna, I made a connection. Grab a zip tie, or you could use the nice um, tie that comes on the bags, which, which uh, it's better to use these. So, who wants to fill a sandbag? I'll go first, here, Rihanna. Getting serious. Get real. Easiest way to fill a sandbag is to grab a shovel, grab a bag, have two people here, one holding the bag, one filling up the bag. So if you want to grab a shovel, just take a couple scoops of, uh, really happy about that. of, of sand in there. So obviously there's a lot of bag here. You don't want to fill these bags up all the way. You want to fill them about a quarter, not quite a half. If you put too much sand in them, they actually are really heavy. Grab a sandbag, twist it like that. You throw your nice tie on it, and you just tighten your tie. And there you go, you got a sandbag. You can lift that up. Oh, I think so. Oh, oh, this is pretty heavy. All right, Brianna, your turn. Perfect. All right, high five, Rihanna. Go. You're welcome, Mesa residents. Wait. Rihanna, got her back. Stuck. Welcome, Mesa residents. Where are we going to go to next? Tell us a little bit about this we storm are, training. We are going to go to our storm pump training. Woo. So um, we're going to head over to an SRP canal, and we're going to show you the ins and outs of a pump trailer. We'll go with sandbag partner, you go with Britain. Okay. Bye bye, Rihanna, have fun. So we're at Greenfield and Broadway. Broadway. You made it! I like this. It's cute. <laughs> yeah. Special order for the PIO. <laughs> All the workers. Thanks for the lift. You transported me very well. Rihanna! I did a Britney! Greenfield and Broadway. Thanks. Wow. You're on top of your chains. Rihanna is like, do you want to do a stand up? Know she knows the location. Doing. So we're at Greenfield and Broadway. And we're doing, we're going to be part of a training that they hold once a month. Really? Did you ask those questions in the car? They told me. Yes. Oh, I didn't ask no, those I got questions. Some info in the car. I know Ryan from California. So you kept it like topical. I didn't keep it topical in the car. Well, you know, I just wanted to get some information so that I could tell you, and I knew what I was talking about. And I do. That's why I do. You're definitely. So we're about to witness a training, right? Is it training? Yeah, it's training. So that when there's big storms, they know what they're doing. And evidently, we're gonna help them uh, with these hands. No gloves. We, we said we don't need them. No, no, we're just no, we're no, tough no, enough. No, no, no. So let's see how this works. All right, here we go. So I'll have my guys go through the process once, and then we can have the gals go through the process. Woo! Let's watch them. All right, guys. What are they doing now? They're sucking the water into the black. Yeah. Going through that orange thing, and then you just 
charge through the yellow hose back in. Can you tell? Yeah, you can kind of tell. A little bit. See the water moving? Yeah, you can tell. Uh -huh. All right. All right, guys. Remember? Keep going until you hear a click. See these two arrows in the line? Click. Click. Hey. You can't just say click. Cool. Cool. <laughs> That's not how this it, works. It works. No, yeah. it, it's clicked. No. <laughs> Straight into you. You gotta go under, Ryan. Can we get in? Yep. Oh. We're falling. Just push it a little more. Come on, Ryan. A little more. Okay, good. Good, thanks for the help. Good. Then, yep. Now turn. Go ahead. This is a water truck. Okay, so we're in the water truck. So it's not raining, but we're doing storm training. So let's make it rain. Did you get wet? No. That was cool. That was cool. Thank you. It was nice, nice meeting hanging you. out with you. Yep, nice oh, meeting wow. you. Thank nice you. Meeting. You guys get enough content you think? Oh yeah, yeah. thanks. After pump training, it was time to then go see the traffic management center. This place was seriously cool. So here we are. What's this called? The TMC Traffic Management Center. Traffic, traffic Management Center. center. Here we are in front of all of the screens. Live stream of intersections so they can keep an eye on accidents and issues and down street lights and all that good stuff so they can adequately uh, monitor and then go attend to the situations that are happening around the city in the intersections. Good job, Brittany. Look at that. Looks like I get paid to do this. <laughs> and this is the lady who's in charge of it all. Hi, Hi I'm Brianna. Trisha. Nice Thank to meet you. you. I am Brittany. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for letting us come in and see yeah, us. This no is problem. awesome. There are 459 traffic signals and we have communications to all of them. Okay, So cool. we can pull up the status of any signal. Visually? As long as, uh, we don't have cameras at every intersection. We're at you know, 200 and some cameras. So pretty much every major, major intersection has some sort of visual. Cool. for it so like the mile mile intersections right so green dots are good yep well, there's a lot of green dots anything but blue is good okay <laughs> i've pressed this button many a time public service <laughs> announcement you only need to turn it once only push this once you and when it says wait 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 <laughs> Wait, and you keep hitting it. I think you just keep hitting it to have company. But this is it, this is um, an audible, wow. just like you said, or it says wait. So sometimes we'll have people that request those signals want to come in and get a demonstration about how they're going to work beforehand. So we can, yeah, yeah. we have uh, we have one we can take to them, and then we have this one in the field. And then this is what the cameras look like in the field. Oh, cool. Hey, goodbye. Thank Bye. you for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Really quick about the traffic management center. This center and the cameras only live stream. There's no video stream. So they're not recording this data onto a server. It's just live streaming of the intersections so they can see in real time what's going on. That's it. They don't archive it. They don't hold it. It's just live streaming. So if you need to report anything like debris issues, storm issues, or traffic signal addings, there's a phone number that you can call. I'm going to put it in the description. So if you ever need to report something, you can do that. We do have employees on standby 24-7 for monsoon-related issues. So thanks again for subscriptions. It's amazing what you guys have done. I appreciate it. Every person who's hit that button, thank you so much. Virtual fist bump. So that's it. That's vlog 17, technically 17, I don't know, whatever. Transportation ride along. Thank you so much for our transportation team. You guys are amazing. Monsoon awareness, monsoon maintenance. You guys rock. Um, make sure to take advantage of the sandbags if you need them and to call that number if you have any monsoon issues. They'll take care of it. I am trying to kick this thing. Pneumonia is a bit harder to get rid of than I thought. So canine vlog will hopefully happen post, if not next week, the week after, but something will post next week, if not the canine vlog. I'm just gonna do the hand thing. Later guys. <laughs>